Welcome back to Pump Circle, where we discuss practical use cases for AI. In today's video, we'll be building out a Slack bot that summarizes long messages. We all receive long text messages and sometimes wish we could just get the gist of the message. All right, let's jump in. So we have a long text message right here. So we're gonna be using a message shortcut to summarize this. So we call it a summarizer. Once you click on it, you can see your summarized text appears. So this is the way this app is actually going to work. Let's dive into the setup. First, we start with Hugging Face. Hugging Face is going to be providing API access to the model we'll be using for summarization. Then we'll set up a Slack app using the Slack Bolt framework. After that, we'll be writing our summarization function. This is where we're gonna be passing the message as an input to the model. We'll receive back a summarization, which we send as output to the Slack user. So first we need to sign up for Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a platform for hosted models, data sets. They also provide both compute power and applications for training and fine tuning AI models. It's a candy shop for everything AI. The beauty of Hugging Face is that there are thousands of models that are available for use and they make this available via an inference API which we'll be using today. This opens up a lot of cool possibilities as you can combine different models to complete your tasks. All right, a quick note regarding the pricing for Hugging Face. Now, all the inference endpoints are free to use. It's actually rate limited as well. So please read the documentation to have a good sense of what the rate limits are. If you want a dedicated instance, you will be able to access that by uh, using their inference endpoints, which pro provisions access uh, to the models that you might want to host. You can get your access token from the profile settings section. We'll be using that in our app. Now let's start with our Slack setup. First, we wanna create a new app. We wanna choose the from scratch section. We wanna give it a name. Then we wanna pick which workspace we want to install it in. We'll go ahead and create our app. And now we need to add some scopes. We need two scopes. One, the chat write scope for sending messages and the command scope, which is going to handle our shortcuts. So we'll go ahead and add those two scopes. That would then allow us to actually go ahead and install our app in the workspace. All right, takes us through a grant prompt, which will allow Next up, we want to make sure that we copy the bot user token, keep it safe we're gonna, because we're going to be using it in our app. Next up, we want to go create an app token. So here we're going to be giving it a name and all we need here is the connections right scope. So we're going to be adding a new scope, connections right. That will help us generate an app token. This is the other token we'll be needing as well. So please keep this safe. Now let's set up socket mode. So click on socket mode. We enable socket mode. Now we need to go create our shortcut. So we'll click on interactivity and shortcuts. And we'll be creating a message shortcut. So this will allow us to operate on the message. This is where we're gonna be triggering our summarizer app. So we'll give it a name, a description, and a callback ID. This callback ID we'll be using in our app. So here we're going to be giving it summarize hyphen text. All right. And we go ahead and create the shortcut and we're ready to go. All right. So let's get our development environment ready. So for the setup, please pause the video and do the following if you're following along. I've also added a GitHub repository containing the entire code, which you can get from the description section. First, you need to create a directory. Then you need to cd into your directory, create a virtual environment for your Python, export your Slack tokens and your Hugging Face API token. Next, you need to install these different packages, the Slack Vault package for handling your Slack operations, as well as the request package for API calls that we're gonna be making to Hugging Face. All right, so if you wanna follow along, you can pause and get all the code, or you can just use the code in the GitHub directory. All right, before we actually add our shortcut handler, let's look at some of the things that we need to do first. 
First, we want to import all the libraries that we're going to be using here. So starting with the OS library, which is going to allow us to access um, our tokens, which we have exported earlier on, um, the request library to make API calls and the Slack Vault app uh, for our Slack operations, as well as the socket mode adapter as well, which we're going to be using to be in socket mode. So first we want to get our hugging face variable. So we want to get the token first. All right. So we need to set up hugging face, the URL and the other parameters in hugging face on the models. We want to go to the summarization section. Our task is a summarization task, and we're going to be using this model. This model is pretty much trained uh, to do summarization. So when we go into the model and click it, we get to see that this model is actually quite popular. One of the things I also noted that it was very, very fast. You can also test this model out right in Hugging Face as well. Now to deploy this app, you go to the deploy section, you go to inference API, and right there you can see the deploy instructions either for Python, JavaScript, or curl. So here you can see the actual API URL, exactly what it is all about. So because we're developing in Python, we can actually copy all of this stuff and copy it into our code. That's exactly what I have done for the code as well. So you can see the API URL, the header, as well as the query that is going to return the summarization output. Now that we have Hugging Face all set up, next up is to initialize the Slack app and get it started for use. So now it's time to create our event handler for our shortcut. So first, our shortcut event handler is listening for a specific shortcut. In this case, it's a summarized text shortcut, which is a callback ID for the shortcut we created earlier on. Now we have a function that is going to be actually handling the event as well. So there are a few parameters that have been passed in here. The ACK, which is how we acknowledge that we've received um, this payload from Slack. Slack actually requires you to respond within three seconds. Then we have a body which contains the entire payload that is sent when an event is triggered. So this includes the actual message text as well, which we'll be needing when we're passing this over to Hugging Face for summarization. Finally, we have a client which allows us to access the Slack client APIs for things like posting a message, which will require when we're sending back the message that contains the summarization back to the user. So first and foremost, we want to get our message from the body object. Next, we want to pass that message to our Hugging Face function to retrieve the summarization. Then we want to retrieve the summary from our output. Then we want to go ahead and actually send the message. Now we're choosing to send this message to our chat underscore post ephemeral. So this means that only the user who has actually used the shortcut is going to receive the message. This is just a good practice if you're not trying to clog up the entire channel with messages that people may or may not want to see. A summary is typically something that maybe one person wants to consume. So it makes sense to make it an ephemeral message. Keep in mind that we're sending our message as a block it message. You can also send it as text. I just prefer block it because that way you can actually make your message look beautiful. So keep in mind that you can use either of the two. Once you're done with that, our app is ready to go. So let's go check it out. All right. So here we have an article and we're going to go ahead and summarize it. So we use our message shortcut summarizer. Once we hit that, and now we're going to receive a summarized version of this article through an ephemeral message, which only is visible to us. So you can see that it has done a pretty good job of summarizing this. All right. So that's it for the application. I'm looking forward to seeing what you build until next time. Have a great one.